my baby dolls welcome back to my channel as you guys can see i'm jumping right in because i lost the box packaging clip so in this wig you get two combs on the side one in the back with adjustable straps this is a 5x5 five five hd lace i am showing you guys the unit before i go in and bleach so that was before and then this is after it's been plucked and bleached now this unit uh, was pre-plucked really well but i went in and plucked it a little bit more myself and bleached the knots now look how good that hairline looks y'all and this unit is so full like super full and so long this is 30 inches long it's full all the way down to the ends now um here i am placing on my glue you guys can watch while i go through this process Okay, you guys, look at this hairline. I was so excited to place on this wig. I did put on a little bit of foundation inside of my wig cap just to make it look, you know, very smooth, a smooth transition. And here I am placing on the lace. Now, one thing I love about this lace is that it's very thin. Thin lace is the best lace because it looks very much natural. This is an HD Swiss lace, so that is the best lace you can get um, as far as it looking natural as possible. And y'all, I was just in love with it. Still, still is. I actually have the wig on to this day. This uh, wig was filmed like two weeks ago, and I'm still wearing this hair. It's good, no shedding, no, y'all, I'm going to get to all that, but I'm just excited about telling you guys about this unit because I'm obsessed with it, and here I am just making sure my lace is laid down properly, and then we can get to the rest of this unit. I got this adjustable band um, in my box, which I am going to use for the lace. It's really good to melt your lace down. I got the Yolista Silk Scarf Band. Used that as well. Really, really good. Y'all, I was excited about how my lace was looking. <laughs> it looks so damn good. And make sure you cut cutting the um, extra lace so that your lace can fit ear to ear and it can be comfortable. Okay, look how long this hair is. 30 inches and so full you guys do not pay attention on how the texture looks right now because I did um, bleach the knots so the hair was still a little damp from me washing the hair so no worries about that but look at this do not play with her like wow I use some Tresemme um, extra hold spray I always use this on top of my lace this just gives it an extra hold and then I place on my um, adjustable band and I stay my band on for at least a couple minutes or so just so that the lace can melt down. I'm also using another product by Tresemme called Keratin Smooth. This helps with frizz defying uh, and also helps with heat damage as well. So it really good, it's really, really good for your human hair. I also use it on my synthetic wigs too. Um, but it also gives it a good shine as well. As you guys can see, it looks so good. It makes your hair even more softer as well. So get your hands on this. It's some good stuff. And you can see that lace, baby. Even with the band on, you can see how well um, the lace is plucked. And another thing I love about the lace is that it is flat. This wig is super flat comes naturally flat and naturally full wow, look at this i just couldn't believe how full this this wig was the fullest longest wig i've gotten period like <laughs> so good now i'm taking the band off so you guys can see how melted this lace is <laughs> So now I'm about to style the unit. I decided to do a middle part. Uh, remember, this is a 5x5 five five, uh, lace. And you pretty much get enough room of lace. I feel like you get enough. 
and with the hot comb i am pressing down my part into place and i am going to flat iron this unit so you guys are going to pretty much see me styling this unit right now um i didn't do any baby hairs i just liked the natural hairline i didn't want to overdo it with you know my baby hairs or anything like that i really felt like it didn't need it um one thing i did could have done was <laughs> i'm showing you guys how full it is uh, once again um Argon oil for more shine. Love this product as well. But one thing I was going to say was I could have put my lace up a little bit. Y'all got a lot of forehead, okay? A lot of forehead. I could have pulled that wig up just a little bit more. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> Baby, whew, the forehead. But that's okay. It looks natural. Um, the good thing about having a huge forehead, a long forehead, is that you can put your wig where you want it, baby very for a uh, versatile head <laughs> okay you can push it up push it down whatever you want to do play around with it you can that's one thing that you can do with a big head but here i am just um flat ironing the unit out um it didn't take me long either it does well with heat very well with heat as you guys can see i'm gonna let you guys watch this through um while i style the hair Okay, y'all, so this was a lot of hair to flat iron, but I got it done. Look how good this hair looks. Look how good this hair looks. Y'all, baby, this hair looks so good all the way through. Look at that. Look at the fullness. Uh, okay, so I just put some powder down in the middle of my part just to make it look even more realistic, even though the lace is bleached i do go in with powder you can be extra as me or you don't have to it's not a have to situation but you know i did it anyway but i'm obsessed i did not have a problem with flood ironing this hair brushing or combing so smooth so 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 smooth and so soft like what but that is it for this review you guys i hope you baby dolls enjoyed leave a comment or any questions down below that you would love to know and i'll see you baby dolls in my next video i love y'all so 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 much Mwah.